Who is David Lindgren? My name is David Lindgren. I'm from Sweden, so the northern part of Sweden from a city called Skellefteå. And uh, I'm a freelancing content creator, but uh, I mainly focus on video, so filming, editing and animating. I think my favorite childhood memory um, when I grew up was when we visited our cousins that lived... Uh, it was about four hours drive away, so we visited them a couple of times per year and I knew we always went to this like specific mountain um, and we were going down the mountain and we, we were like fishing through the ice and, and grilling uh, sausages and sandwiches and stuff and it was just nice family time. Uh, so I really liked those moments. My worst childhood memory is probably when I was 15 and uh, my parents got divorced. It was a big shift in my life at that point because everything until that point was pretty good and then from one day to another it felt like everything was changing um, and me and my brother was moving out at that time also and we didn't have the same support anymore from our parents because they were so focused on uh, like their own issues at that time so uh, that was a big big change in my life and it took a couple of years to to adapt to that and to to grow out of that i would say i think that the divorce that happened when i was 15 really affected my life um, because we we siblings really got together after that. Uh, we really had no choice other than helping each other and being there for each other. And also I started believing more in myself and starting to make more decisions myself and maybe having more courage to do stuff uh, because basically I had to. Uh, that was the only only choice um, so I think even if it was a tough time it really helped me grow as a person now when I'm older and can look back at it um, when I grew up it um, I felt like I really had a, a good childhood um, there was fun activities, we were a lot of time outside doing stuff. Um, I'm really into sports, so I was always like playing ice hockey or soccer or doing something like that. Um, and I think my childhood in general was, was good. Um, like when I put my life into perspective and I realized that I was born in Sweden and and uh, yeah, we have a roof over our heads and, uh, and food on the table. So um, yeah, it could have been so much worse than it was. The only thing that was hard was maybe uh, in school when, when growing up and trying to, to learn myself and, and who I am as a person and um, that was the most challenging thing I think to like have the self-confidence and, and and go my own way and not just following everyone else uh, but I guess that's a phase you go through to to find yourself and to see who you are as a person I've always been creative and I always felt like I want to do stuff to surprise people and impress people and do stuff where the outcome isn't decided uh, where I have the power to to be creative and to do it in my own way 
and I felt that that I could do that when playing ice hockey because you can do different things on the ice and I felt that I could be creative when filming as well. My, uh, my dad had a film camera that I borrowed when I was young and uh, we, me and my neighbors were just outside and, and filming stuff that we did and just experimenting and just having fun with it so uh, uh, I think that interest has always been there and uh, yeah trying to combine video and music and transitions and um, and I was also doing a lot of stuff with like pen and paper designing uh, logos for something for uh, for hockey clubs or anything just for fun so there was always something creative going on uh, and I think I I really felt good when I when I did that also I think if I could change one thing about the world it would be to not being so focused about money uh, I see so many people that are like climbing over each other to reach some success just for the money um, without seeing other people's perspective or without helping other people to grow and see the value of connections and, and friendship and growing together. Um, it's a very at a lot of places it's a very individualistic um, society, I would say. Um, and I think also everything that is happening with the internet and social media, it affects that as well. And if you are not secure in yourself, it's easy to like build this facade and trying to live up to something uh, that isn't true just because you you want to, to to look good and you want to reach something but you don't really think about what's behind that. Um, so if there is one change that I really would like to see is that people will just basically care more about each other uh, and see the human behind everything. And there can always be people that are evil and doing the wrong stuff but there's always a purpose behind it uh, so if we can just see that purpose we could help each other instead of judging each other